This is our first portage of our 12 day adventure across Algonquin Park. Magnatawan to Hambone. Hey Kyla, yes? what do you think of the first portage of Algonquin Park? Have yes. you seen a moose yet? No. Yeah. We want our money back. <laughs> Well, this is uh, day two of our 12-day trip across Algonquin Park, <clears throat> and Kyla saw a moose today. Well, right behind us is Kyla's first moose, and it seems to be blocking the path on our way out. Uh, the whole trip, actually, uh, the reason for this trip was for Kyla to see, to see a moose. Just for proof, the moose is right behind my head. She's seven years old, turn, turning eight uh, in August, and uh, she's been canoe tripping since she was six weeks old. And she finally, uh, a couple weeks ago, said, Dad, I haven't seen a moose and I'm very upset about it. So I said, well, I, I think we might see one in Algonquin Park if we go right across the park. Hey, Kai, what do you think about your first moose? Good. The other thing that happened, uh, we had a little bit of a mishap this morning. Uh, we woke up to uh, our tent being soaking wet and we're like, what happened? It didn't even rain. Our dog peed in the tent. So what happened? Well... I don't really know what happened. <laughs> I don't know why. Dog's never done that before. Dog's never peed in the house before. I don't know. Maybe maybe she's having issues. We're not sure. How do you, why do you think Ellie peed in the tent? Probably because she has a weak bladder. <laughs> it was just hilarious to hear Kyla, a seven-year-old child, yelling at Ellie, You should not pee in your bed. That's wrong. It was a good day. Day three, Kyla has seen two moose. She waited seven years for this. I have a leech! <laughs> the water's infested with them. What do you think of that, Kai? Good. We just had our own stand by me moment. Yeah. How many portages did we do so far today? <laughs> so this is a 12 day canoe trip and we started off with steak and salad, ham, uh, steaks and scalped potatoes and last night we had hamburger casserole. Okay. And so tonight we're going to have a chickpea curry with papadoms and Kai's going to have a little bit of curry and some rice, right Kai? Rice and cheese? And then after that, we'll just kind of play it by ear and it'll depend on what the weather is. But we have a tuna casserole, cornbread and chicken noodle soup, tortellini and a rosé sauce, good old mac and cheese. That's because I'm going to catch fish that night. That's right. So whatever night you catch fish, we'll have mac and cheese with it. Um, pasta carbonara with vegetables. My favorite, which I'm very excited to put together is, or to make, is a beef jerky stir fry with fresh carrots, cabbage, and onions. And last but not least, uh, on a good night to cook with the reflector oven, we've got uh, pizza. And it's not pita pizza, it's pizza with real pizza dough. So we've got all the fixings, Ooh. including pepperoni, cheese, vegetables that just need to be rehydrated, and sauce. So that is a standard, or for us, a standard sort of menu for uh, 11 nights. And so well, obviously we have breakfast and lunches in there as yep. well. Like we've got dried meat and we've got cheeses and... Uh, Peanut butter and jam and we make hummus and couscous salad for lunches and uh, lots of wraps. Uh, we brought fresh pita for the first couple of days, but it's mostly uh, tortilla after that. We'll make biscuits and muffins and scones on the reflector oven. Tomorrow will be a big baking day because we have the day off. And then breakfasts are pretty much bacon and eggs the first two days, right Kai? Those are yummy mornings. And then we have pancakes, hot cereal, cold cereal, and one of those mornings we'll have uh, uh, muffins or scones. And what from home are you missing right now? Me? Yeah. Can I say it on camera? If you want to say cold beer, I'll, I'll agree as well. Cold beer. But we have, we have red and white wine every yes. night. Yes, that is have, a treat. And we have vodka. Yes. And we have Zambuca. Yes. And we have Bailey's. Yes. And it's in Kyla's pack. Yes. But we're not going to tell her until the end of the trip. No.
Well, I uh, had a bit of an issue this morning. <laughs> uh, day five, and I uh, went to, uh, it's our day off today actually, so I went to do some baking, make some scones this morning, early morning, everybody's still in bed. And uh, I have a reflector oven that I actually love. Problem is, uh, it's missing the metal piece to hold up the, um, the pan. And I have no idea where it is. I, I just got back from a 10, 11 day trip up in Woodland Caribou and I had a day and a half to switch over from uh, one trip to the other. And uh, I must have left the metal piece at camp or something, I don't know. So I was like, oh no, what am I gonna do? Uh, and I, what I like about actually being out here is that you don't got much, but what you, what you have is, is what you have to use to make the day go through, <laughs> or whatever, I don't know. Um, I started thinking, what can I use? I tried to use a piece of metal from uh, the grill, from the fire, but they're not long enough. Uh, I went to duct tape it, obviously, uh, but duct tape doesn't always do well when uh, there's fire around. Um, I was gonna use a green stick, which would work, actually, after a while. But, um, it would eventually cave in, and, because it would burn. So, I have this. Uh, this is a fly swatter I always bring in my pack for those nasty uh, um, ankle biters, the, uh, those little stable flies. So uh, it's got a piece of metal. I think I have it solved. Problem is, what am I going to do now to fix this? But I'll worry about that later. Because scones for breakfast is a lot more important than killing stable flies at this moment in time. Baby catfish. <laughs> really cool. I don't know if you can, you can see these. We zoom in here. There's two beaches on this campsite. One I really like, and that was that one over there. It's good for swimming. This one is good for seeing fishes and other creatures. We found an old boat that went on land and water. Cool. It's called an alligator. So it's really cool. An old alligator. Uh, there's an old farm depot at the end of Burnt Island Lake. And uh, I've never really investigated this before. And I actually never found this thing before. And, and we went by it twice before Alana found it in the bush. Uh, I found the old remains of the farm. And this is actually just further down. So it's a bit between two creeks, and this is actually just past the one creek to the um, west. And then you go further on, you'll see the opening uh, that obviously uh, is full of raspberry cane and mint and stuff. It was the old farm, and that is to the left of this. 